now, she was witnessing my own humiliating loss of privacy. If I had any grasp of the concept at the time, I probably would have viewed it as karma for the pleasure I had since derived from remembering her in that position. As it was, all my eleven-year-old brain could feel was primarily the fire in my bum and legs, and a tiny awareness of my bared lower body, even more on display than during a usual smacking. I self-consciously crossed my legs over each other, in an attempt to keep them together and protect my modesty. Amazingly, I managed to maintain this cross-legged position for the remainder of the hairbrush smacking. After the final few swats with her hairbrush, Mum sighed and placed it back on the table. Oh now you're still, she said with exasperation, as I firmly pressed myself into the couch and wept violently.